Sunita Williams to vote in U.S. presidential elections from space. NASA astronaut to exercise her democratic right from orbit. Williams set to cast her vote from the International Space Station. With less than a month to go, countdown to U.S. elections begin. Election fever sweeps across America as polls near. But the crucial question remains. How will Sunita Williams cast her vote from space? NASA astronaut Sunita Williams is poised to make history by casting her vote in the upcoming U.S. presidential election from the International Space Station. As the current commander of the ISS, she will exercise her democratic right from approximately 400 kilometers above Earth's surface. Remember, the voting process for astronauts in space has been in place since 1997 when the Texas legislature passed a bill allowing NASA astronauts to cast their ballots from orbit. Sunita Williams will join a select group of space-based voters, following in the footsteps of astronauts like David Wolfe, who became the first American to vote from space while aboard the Mir space station, and Kate Rubens, who most recently voted from the ISS during the 2020 elections. To cast her vote, Williams will follow a process similar to that used by other U.S. citizens voting from abroad, with some unique adaptations for her extraterrestrial location. She will begin by completing a federal postcard application to request an absentee ballot. Once received, Williams will fill out the electronic ballot on the ISS computer system. The voting process relies on NASA's Advanced Space Communication and Navigation Program. Williams' completed ballot will travel through the agency's near space network, utilizing the tracking and data relay satellite system. The vote will be transmitted to a ground antenna at NASA's White Sands Test Facility in New Mexico before being securely transferred to the Mission Control Center at Johnson Space Center in Houston. From Houston, the encrypted ballot will be sent to the appropriate county clerk for processing. Only Williams and the county clerk will have access to the ballot to ensure the integrity of the vote. Remember, NASA astronaut Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore's trip to the International Space Station, which was supposed to last eight days, has left the two astronauts stranded in space for months now. Williams and Wilmore's prolonged mission began when a small helium leak was detected in the Starliner spacecraft, a problem that initially seemed manageable. However, the situation worsened as more leaks were discovered, coupled with the failure of five crucial thrusters. Despite efforts to manage these issues, the situation has left Williams and Wilmore stranded in space far longer than anticipated.